hello, hello, hello. How are you? This is Els coming from Beamish Crafty Corner. And uh, i got to clean up my mess because I went on a scavenger. I did. I took the Amy and the Hubber and we went on a little scavenger. So let me get this cleaned up because I'm working on something here. And um, that's a file folder. And this one. Okay, I'll grab that. All right, so. I went and did a little scavenger. So the first thing I did is I went to the Dollar Tree. And the reason that I went to the Dollar Tree was because, you know, I did that little rack, you know, and for the washi tape. And I wanted to do something else because, you know, I'm working on trying to get my new craft room area organized. And they have these in, and they're so stinking cute. I mean, look at these little things, right? And so, um,. I think I'm going to work on a project for these. And I think I'm going to tie it in, um, you know, with the little project that we did for swatching our inks. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like an ink rack. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it yet. But I grabbed a whole bunch of these because they're just stinking cute. And um, I thought, you know could bring them home and hit them with the electric sander and get them all even and everything and get them all primed and paint it and get them put together and see what I come up with. So I grabbed these. So look for a, a project on that. Who knows? Might be an ink holder, might be a pen holder. Who knows? Right? Um, then I grabbed one of these. This is that aroma diffuser. Um, Tina over at Tina's Crafty Life, she's been looking for one since she saw the one that I hauled, you know, this one, and she hasn't been able to find one. Uh, where she's at so I said you know next time I go in if I find one I will grab one for you and I found one so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send that off to her what else did we get well we got some of this we got some adhesive cork now my Dollar Tree is not like it, it my Dollar Tree <laughs> there's like 27 Dollar Trees in Las Vegas metropolitan area so um, I go to probably any one of eight or ten of those at least once a week usually two maybe three four five okay I go to at least a half a dozen Dollar Trees every week um, some of them have stuff and some of them don't the one that I went to today was pretty well supplied and uh, one of the things they had was the adhesive cork and this is um, got the sticky already on the back and everything and I love this for like bottoms of boxes and things so uh, I grabbed, you know, a few pieces of that because you never know. You never know when you're going to need it. What else? <laughs> okay. I bought some candy. I'll be honest. I got a lot more of those little wooden boxes. And I got some new Baker's Twine because I am all out of this. I'm almost out of that. And I have a lot of this, but, you know, the blue is harder for me to find, these two shades of blue. And they haven't had it for a long time, but they got it in. And so I grabbed those. And um, I've seen these hauled uh, a little bit. And I know Tina had one and she wanted to find another one. And so um, I grabbed some of these. So these are uh, pencil and brush organizers, and I bought one of these at uh, Tuesday morning, uh, about six, seven months ago. I think it was just before COVID, maybe a year ago. And I tried it, and it wasn't for me. But that's not to say that it's not for everybody. And I could see we're putting this like on my sink next to where I rinse my brushes. My paint brushes would be really cool because, you know, I could just set them in there and let my paint brushes dry. It's just not something that's practical for on my desk because it's round and my desk is square. Uh, but not a bad little, uh, little contraption. You know, you put it together and it stands up and you put stuff in. So I grabbed a couple of those because I'm sure they'll find a home. I got a new bowl for the Harry and I'll tell you why because I just bought Harry a new bowl and Harry knocked it off the kitchen counter I can't put it on the floor because then ginger eats his food so Harry knocked it off the kitchen counter 
So this one's got a rubber bottom on the bottom. So I'm hoping it'll be harder for him to knock on the floor. But you know, it's hairy, so it'll be down there in a day. Oh, what else did we get? Do -do -do. Well, we got batteries. Always get batteries whenever I go to the Dollar Tree because, you know, eight batteries for a dollar. And I go through them like crazy. So, you know, I got some batteries. We'll put those in one of them. Look at this. It's coming in handy all already. I haven't even done anything to it. What else? All right, so another thing that I got, and I do this with my basics, like the colors I use all the time. So I got this. This is a Rich Art Acryology Premium Acrylic Paint. Water soluble. It's just regular acrylic paint, you know. So I get black. I got, they had the deep blue. They had the violet. Um, they didn't have the red this time, but I usually get the red and the white too. And I do have white. I just don't know where it went. It's just not in this bag. Probably in with all those little crates that I bought. And then I bought this, and this is a magnet. <laughs> I bought this because I hear this at least twice a week <laughs> in my comments. You're doing it wrong. So <laughs> that's going to be my new thing. Uh, I'm going to stick it up on, uh, you know, around my desk here someplace so that the next time somebody tells me I'm doing it wrong, I can say, all right, I'm doing it wrong. Um, there we go. It's all on the magnet board. And then I bought this. Now, I know this is a kitty litter pan. And it's plastic. Okay? And it's a, it's a kitty litter pan. It is. That's what it is. It's the Dollar Tree kitty litter pan. And this sucker is pretty big. Um, let's see if we can find the big one here. There it is. All right. So... This thing on the inside is about 12 and a half inches by about 16 and a half inches. And it's slightly narrower at the bottom. But do you know what this is good for? Making tea dyed paper. <laughs> um, you can fill this up, you know, with like a pot of tea, like a whole kettle full of tea. And then you can put like 40 or 50 pieces of paper in here and soak them so that you can make your tea dyed paper and you don't have to do it like one sheet at a time in a cookie sheet or something. So it's a really nice, and, and you, you know, you don't want to put your tea in here too hot because it is plastic, but you can put your tea in here uh, at, you know, slightly more than room temperature, lukewarm. You can put it in here and then you can dye your tea. And um, the Amy is getting ready to leave, so I'm gonna have to start tea dyeing my own paper again. Ugh. And so that means I need something. And because this is slightly, you know, I can do paper this way. And then when I get up to about here, I can do paper this way. So I grabbed it. You know, what the hell? It's a, it's a buck, you know? All right. So I went to Tuesday morning. I have been there in a while. I know. I'm bad. If I haven't gone, that means a lot of you haven't gone. So um, let's take a look at what was going on in the store. I got some footage for you. All right, guys, listen, I apologize. I can't do anything about the uh, music in the background. What I can do is I can show you what we've got going here. So this is the Bray Reese watercolor paint kit for $14.99, 39 pieces in this one. So you get the wet watercolors plus the dry cakes and brushes. Uh, looks like you get an eraser and a few other pieces in here and a palette and uh, one watercolor panel. So you get like basically nothing for 15 bucks. Um, <laughs> they do have a lot of different markers in right now. Actually too many to kind of go through. Um, so let's take a look at the other side of the world here. So over on this side, we've got a bunch of new dyes. Um, so we've got some Stampendous dyes here. There's the mermaid. And we also have the Hero Arts mermaid. So we've got both of those. Um, then we have some of these simple stories. These are the layered frames. There's six frames in there. And then if you turn this over, there's three rolls of washi tape and a stencil. And that's $6.99 on that one, guys. And then we have a lot of the uh, 
new thinlets in. Whole bunches of thinlets are in. Let's take a look. We'll take a walk down just a little bit further here and see what else we've got. So we do have in the uh, ribbon tape, the thicker tape, and they're getting in some of the baker's twine. So we've got that coming in. And then moving down a little bit further, we have some of the bigger dies for the Gemini. These are the ones that do like the box cuts. You know, they pre-cut boxes and things for you. So we do have some of those in. They're $16.99 a piece. It's a little bit pricey, but I'm cool with it. So we have a lot of paper pads, just huge amounts. So let me show you what I've pulled for you guys today. So the first one we have is this one by Photoplay. It's only eight sheets of 12 by 12 and a one sheet of 12 by 12 element stickers. But, uh, you know, this one's kind of cute. It's a little panda bear thing for $5.99. And, uh, of course, there's your stickers. And then we have this one, Frozen 2 is in. Uh, $3.99 for Frozen 2. 113 stickers, 24 die cuts, and six sheets of paper. 14, 143 total pieces. Uh, and there's kind of a quick look. You get So you get uh, cards and stickers and things. And then there's your paper. Then we have uh, some Authentique, eleven ninety nine on this one, guys. There is uh, all this paper. This is like the birthday one. It's called the Hooray Collection. Yeah, no great shakes. All right, we have a Kane Company pad for nine ninety nine. And now this is paper, okay? It is paper, but you know what I like about this is single sided. 12 inch, 12 by 12 papers, right? 150 sheets. These are fantastic for doing your books, your inside book pages. You know, like to do your um, book liners because they're kind of traditional looking. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so they're kind of traditional, you know, as far as the appearance. You can use them on the inside of your book. So for 10 bucks for 150 sheets, it's a good deal. Then we have some more authentic here. We have the October set for $9.99. Contains 12 double-sided pattern papers plus 6x6 six six paper. Um, the 6x6 six six seems to be missing by this one because it's usually a pad. Um, so that one's missing. And then this one is also by Authentique for $9.99. And this one is the pastimes. So you've got like some travel stuff in here and some like hiking type stuff. There's your six by six on this one. They took out the pads and just divided them. I think that's it for Authentique. We're moving on now to this is Echo Park. This is the flower market. It looks pretty much like the farmer's market. Um, so yeah, it looks up pretty much standard on that. So that one's there. Uh, that one is $6.99 as well. Then we have these. These are the Echo Park sticker packs. Now, they are 10 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheets. 10 single-sided outdoor themed ones here. This is the outdoor. So this one's going to go like for the in the jungle, the camping, all of those pads. So if you have those pads, this is your sticker set. Okay? Now if you don't have those pads, this isn't going to help you. Uh, this is the travel one. So you've got all your different travel ones. You know, are we there yet? Route 66. All of those are in there. Uh, there's one for the boys. One for the girls. Then there's winter. Spring. Summer. And fall. All right, so um, they have some of these, what they call mega packs. Uh, these are your element stickers. This one is actually the bride and groom. It's the wedding bliss. And this is called a mega thing. It has 12, 12 by 12 sheet, uh, 12 by 12 inch double-sided papers, uh, including the cover. Six 12 by 12 double-sided solids, two ephemera die cut sheets, and one element sticker sheet. Um, they can keep the sticker sheet, you know, the, the, the solid color sheets and stuff, and stop charging us 15 bucks for these. So they have the wedding one. They have Forward with Faith. And they have the Botanical Garden. Kind of nice, but I mean, I'm not over the top with it. It's not like, oh, I have to have it. Um, they also have some Crafter's Companions. These are textured cardstocks, 36 pages, $9 a piece in these. 
They got some beautiful colors. But this paper is not foldable because it's white core. Okay, then we have Brea Reese alcohol markers. And it looks like this is a 24 piece pack here. And these are $19.99. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot, but uh, you know, they're working on it. All right, so what did I get? What did I actually buy? Um, well, I only bought two things. So the first part, it was this. Um, so they had these in a bag. And this is like, you know, people went in and they took like the washi tape they wanted out of the Tim Holtz washi. Um, or they lost a roll or, you know, whatever. And so they had all these like extra rolls. They put them in a bag. There was like one tube, one tube in there that it wasn't full. There was like four of them in there, you know, but, uh, they had one tube and so they had this in the back and I said, no, they can't throw out the Tim Holtz washi tape. So I grabbed it, you know, and I'm going to figure out how many are here and what I can do. I don't know. I'll probably do like, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, maybe three for $4 or something, but I'll put them together and sell them. Uh, I know there's a couple of different sizes. Like there's some wide ones and some narrow ones. And I know there's some like middle shape ones. So maybe we'll do like one wide, one narrow, and one middle shape one for like four bucks. Who knows? So I grabbed all of those. Get out of the way. Do it, Tim. Okay, and then the other thing I got was this. Um, you saw this one in the video. This is Alt, Alt Art Alternatives. It's a 20 inch cutting edge ruler. Um, and you know, it comes in a little cute case, which is cool. I can hang it up. Um, but it has a little metal edge on the side over here so I can tear paper. And I thought that would be cool for like, you know, if I'm tearing like the edges of journaling cards or something and I want them to have a, a little rougher look, I can tear them on here without them going, eee. Um, I don't know why it's 20 inches. That's a really bizarre measurement to me. Uh, you would think that it would be like 12 inches or 18 inches, but not 20. Like, you know, a foot, a foot and a half, or three feet or two feet even but it's 20 inches and it's not even like 20 inches all the way to the end it's like just before the end and just before like it's it's right there it starts like a hair in like a 16th of an inch in and ends a 16th of an inch in but it also has an eight uh, eighth inch grid on it which is helpful uh, it has these little rubber pieces on it so that's helpful like if I'm trying to line up stuff on a card or something like a, a, if I'm mounting something and, you know, if I'm putting a mat on, I can make sure it's even. Um, but I thought that was really cool. And these acrylic ones like this, I like to use these, you know, when I have like these really long stamps like this, because I can pick this up on the acrylic ruler and use the ruler as a stamping block because I don't have one that's like six inches long. So I only have like a four inch one which means that the ends don't get done. But, uh, you know, I grabbed that. We'll play with it. Also, um, you'll see, I'm sure you saw it in the video. They have the uh, foil kit, and I thought about doing a review on it, but, you know, I'm all about, like, the least amount of money, and I don't see that I would really use a foil kit, so I was wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing a review on it. If you're interested, let me know, and I will be happy to go and pick one up and review the foil for you guys, and, uh, you know, we'll see how it works. And then I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll probably keep it for six months and sell it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> or give it away. You know me. Um, but that's it, guys. So... That's all I have for you today. Listen, if you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. I really, uh, you know, do appreciate the fact that you stopped by and took the time to watch my video. Um, while you're here, you know, you got nothing to lose. Slap the red button for me. Like me, ring my bell, share me with all your friends. Then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we got a whole community going. Listen, do me a huge, huge favor, guys. Please take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye.